Good morning. It's Monday morning, November 2nd. Uh, this is Victor Krieger. Welcome to Morning Devotion. I was told by someone that they preferred the full screen rather than uh, putting just a little square down here of, of video. So if you have strong feelings on the matter, you can let me know. We'll try it for this week and see how it goes. We'll begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's pray. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. Keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. Into your hands I commend my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the wicked foe may have no power over me. Amen. Our reading is from Hebrews chapter 6, starting at verse 13. So you could either pull that up in another window uh, if you want to use a website or, or open your Bible now. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 13 through 20. When God made his promise to Abraham, since there was no one greater for him to swear by, he swore by himself, saying, I will surely bless you and give you many descendants. And so, after waiting patiently, Abraham received what was promised. Men swear by someone greater than themselves, and the oath confirms what is said and puts an end to all argument. Because God wanted to make the unchanging nature of his purpose very clear to the heirs of what was promised, he confirmed it with an oath. God did this so that by two unchangeable things, that's the promise and then the oath, by two unchangeable things in which it is impossible for God to lie, we who have fled to take hold of the hope offered to us may be greatly encouraged. We have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. It enters the inner sanctuary behind the curtain where Jesus, who went before us, has entered on our behalf. He has become a high priest forever in the order of Melchizedek. This is the word of the Lord. The world changes, doesn't it? The It's been said that you can never step in the same river twice. That's that's our whole lives. Everything changes. We change. Our attitudes change. Our bodies change. The world around us changes. You know, I don't know what's on your mind today, but, you know, I heard there's an election this week. Something something could change, uh, regardless of, of who wins it. Uh, maybe you're thinking about some health issue. I My body used to be healthy, and, and now I have this problem. Uh, maybe you're missing someone, someone who used to be here, and, and now they're not. Or someone who you used to be able to see, and now you can't. You know, we hold tightly to those, those cherished memories, but we just can't go back and, and relive those times. But... God doesn't change. God wants it to be very clear to us that he doesn't change and his promises don't change. He wants us to be so sure that he promised it and then he made an oath and God can't lie and yet he gave us those those two things. He made those promises to Abraham and now by faith we are a part of that family also. God doesn't change his, his mind about promises. He doesn't change his mind about us. And and yet so often we, we take our trust away from, from God and we put our trust on these things that that shift, these things that change. Um, you know, maybe it's it's politics or or we take comfort in the in all of the wealth that we can build up, and we put our trust in in the fact that if something bad happens, at least I have enough money that I'll be able to deal with it, or at least I have enough food saved up so if there are food shortages this winter, I know that I'll have enough. We put our trust in in these things that just don't last. Uh, the words of the hymn remind us of of uh, of where our, our hope really is. is it, My hope is built on nothing less. This is 382 in Christian worship. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare to make no other claim but wholly lean on Jesus' name. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. In verse 2 of this hymn, uh, there's, there's a part that maybe you've always wondered about. My anchor holds within the veil. This is actually based on the words of our reading today. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 19. We have this hope 
as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. It enters the inner sanctuary behind the curtain, where Jesus, who went before us, has entered on our behalf. Jesus, our high priest, was in fact himself our sacrifice. You know, if you if you were to think, um, you know, it, it, it what's our position coming before God? We think, well, I could I could never stand before a holy God. I can't stand before God who hates sin when I myself is am sinful. And you'd be right. We we can't. But Jesus did it on our behalf. He entered the inner sanctuary behind the curtain, and at his death, that curtain was ripped in two. And now we are anchored to the throne of God. And as much as God's throne doesn't move, so we don't move. We are we are anchored to something that is that is fixed. Our salvation is sure. It doesn't depend on what we do, but what Jesus did. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. Stick around, I, I found a nice arrangement of that hymn. I'll, I'll play that uh, play that next. Um, first, let's pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from, from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look on you with favor and give you peace. Amen.